I was going out there. I, I was trying not to get caught in a bad position, but when it happened, I just had to kind of weather the first round and uh-huh. uh, let him just, you know, give me everything he had and come back in that second and third. Yeah, in the first round, he was the hurricane. But you're right, you weathered it, man. And then all of a sudden, the tide turned, yeah. and uh, that that was, you know, that I'm sure it took a lot of uh, you know, wherewithal uh, to to hang in there because he was attacking with striking, he was attacking with the ground. I mean, he just seemed strong as a gorilla. You know what I mean? But uh, I like that you kept your head. I, th- I think it was more mental in that first surviving than physical. Uh, and then being able to turn it around, not too many fighters can do that in a three-round fight. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, the, the, sh- the shoe face, he, he couldn't weather the storm. You know, he got me down right away, and he got my back and kept trying to take me down, take me down. I was throwing Granby rolls, uh-huh. trying to get yeah. him off my back. His grip, his grip was insanely strong because, you know, he's been doing jiu-jitsu for probably, what, 20 years, so all the gi grabbing and stuff so he was his grip was unreal and then second round i was like that's all he's got it's my time now he was just breaking mentally you know we we did we had an accidental headbutt and he wants to stop the fight and it's just like man we're fighting like the ref didn't see it we're gonna keep fighting like you're the one who need me in the nuts so he can complain about whatever he wants he was breaking mentally when you're breaking you start letting little things like that affect you you know, like Cesar Ferreira, we headbutted hard a few times, and none of us said anything. If the ref doesn't see it, you know, I'm not going to try to wave him down and let him know. I'm just going to keep fighting, and, you know, whatever he wants to believe. I was there for a mission, and, and a little headbutt is not going to, you know, uh, stop me. So I'm going to keep moving forward until the ref actually pulls me off. So, I mean, that's on him. That's mental things, and if he wants to find excuses, that, that's on him. I'm happy with my performance and what happened. Was it right after round one, or was, or was there a little bit of moments in round two where you still knew this thing could go either way? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, after the round one, he kind of got up slow in the second, going to his stool. I kind of seen it there a little bit, and then I just, I just kind of felt him fading. It's just like, I don't know if there's an exact moment in this fight that I can think of, but just slowly felt him fading. And don't get me wrong, he, he gave everything in that third round. It could have went either way because, you know, he he took me down. I got up. I took him down. Uh, he swept me. I swept him again. So, I mean, it was a lot of scrambling. And you can just feel in those scrambles when someone just, like, starts to shut down. And I felt that a few times. And, you know, but he pushed to the very end. And I had to, I had to turn it on the whole time. And we were both tired out there. But I was mentally able to just keep pushing. 